Pepper's watching that ball, and he's going, he's not going to carry a Brooklyn, is he? <laughs> At least that's what I would have been thinking. You never had anybody do that against you, Marshall. Uh. And picks up the spare. The release of Brian Hitler, a high backswing. The ball was just never projected far enough to the right. So Weber, working on a double, trails by just 12, can cut into that lead, down to two with a strike. Oh yeah, here he comes, it's two pits right now. Getting a spear now. Well, he, he needs, it's needs to make a quality shot. This has been his good lane, nine pins to win. Wow. Hug on to the ball. And he missed this earlier, Marshall. If he gets nine, we could have a tie. A third frame. I guarantee you, he's got to be throwing a spare ball. He's not going to mess around with hooking it at the 3-6-10. I've had to make this to win a tournament. I got lucky and got it, but I wouldn't want to be in Weber's shoes right now. To win, he gets it. He made it. Well, he made it tough on himself, but Weber makes the 3-6-10. Pete and Weber, the winner of the Parker Ball in the third Empire State Open. Win number 25 for Pete. Swung to Pete Weber. Ninth fair strike, a tie. First strike win, three in the tenth, perfection. Bunch of storylines. Now wait a minute, Pete, don't get too puffed up. I think he lost his sunglasses. He just ripped them off his head. Don't get too puffed now. You like the match in hand. Take a look at this shot. Oh, you couldn't throw it any more perfect here. than this. We still have perfection. Two more strikes. Three more. Oh, you like it? He ain't getting his first one against me. No way. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, excuse me. He's got the match. That ball was left the whole way. If he'll be the first one to tell you that that wasn't a good one. But 289 is. What a great match. Pete Weber's your winner. And he has surpassed his father as 27. PBA Tour title. Yeah, he's got it. Well, what an effort by Michael Hauser Jr. He put the pressure on the pro, but with 289, he wins by 10 pins. Pete Weber, there it is again. This ball's left the whole way. Watch this left. Baby, that was a good shot. Pete in complete... Well, unfortunately for Parker, he's completely lost on the left lane. <laughs> well, you gave me ten dollars to go easy on you. <laughs> Parker said he's going easy on on Pete. <laughs> A little bit of a bemused grin there on Parker's behalf. Parker's a great sport. And right now, Pete Weber says to himself, Hey, Dad, guess what? We're tied. Little baby. I didn't even really worry about it anymore. Terrific, terrific bowling by Pete Weber. just a crack well needs a spare here first and then he needs to mark in the 10th frame wins every other week how much money can we make you'll break even <laughs> money you spend no life oh, door 
Oh. Is wide open. You've got to be kidding. Lost count. Can throw the three over into the four seven. The ball will take the six ten out. Pete's one of the best at making this split. making this. You couldn't draw it up any more. Perfect. Needs five pins to win. Watch this bike. It's to the right of the three pin. The three pin's going to go over the four seven. What a shot. Now he needs five for the win. That's the what winner. it is. P.D.W. That is right. Yeah. Right on. Give it up. Give it up. That's the winner. Take that. Brian Randy Peterson on our tire. PBA, the ESPN crew, going to Aspen, Colorado for the Winter X Games next on ESPN. Over. But Pete first wants to take care of business, and he has won a title. And for the first time in his great career, has defended a PBA Tour Championship. Hard to believe. Boss having fun with Pete now. They're gonna have to change the name here to Weber Lanes, I think. Right. In Southern Oregon today, gotta have it. Oh. Ten pin. Oh. Ten pin for Tommy Lutz Jr. And it's over. Pete Weber has won his 30th career. PBA title and gets the congratulations from his wife Tracy. God, am I the luckiest person on the face of the earth today? Yeah, right you are, Pete. Not that you don't deserve it, but Tommy Deluce Jr., in my opinion, did nothing wrong today. Made the best effort, put the best performance out there on the lanes, and came up nine pins short. We can't do anything better for the week. Title: Four TV shows already. Mika. The five shows, Chris Barnes, six shows, but no titles officially yeah! for exempt That's status. Right, right here, baby. Big shot again for Pete. Getting closer, nine pins, and he's wrapped up his seventh major championship. Big, big time shot. It's not over yet, however. Pete still needs nine. Everything that we've seen thus far, this tough lane condition, anything can happen. Pete going to the spare ball, throw it straight and hard right down the middle. Nine, and he's got it. He thinks he he's does. He's got it. He's got ten. He has got a major he championship. This is what the U.S. Open is all about. That's why Dave Husted won three. He was the best inside player the tour had ever seen up during that time he was winning those U.S. Opens. Come on, Here's a 10 pin for Wes. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was his good shot too. Pete Weber's gonna win his fourth U.S. Open. And now you have to consider Pete Weber as player of the year or being the front runner for player of the year, a title he's never won before. On the bench, he has the numbers to win 
his 34th title. And tie Earl Anthony's record of eight Whoa. major championships. As Pete Weber with the victory. It's Walter A. Williams Jr., yet another Player of the Year honor. <laughs> Weber in the tent. Yeah, another one. Storm is number one. Thank you, Storm. You're number one. The Weber win will give Walter Ray Williams Jr. his seventh Player of the Year honor. And that breaks a tie with the legendary Earl Anthony for most PBA Player of the Year awards. Walter Ray Williams Jr. in 86, 93, 96, 97, 98, 03, and here in 09, 10 is your Player of the Year. But today, Pete Weber gets his first title since March of 07. His we'll watch. No one's ever won five. Hands up. That's it. He thought he had that. Got to make it. For the spare. He's missed one, but not that one. Strike to claim it. A strike to claim it. And he got it! Scott did it! Yes! That is why I did it! At number five! Are you kidding me? That's right! Who do you think you are? I am! Damn it, right! Bowling history, the only player ever to win five U.S. Open. Pete Weber. You got your first PBA win in Union City, called by Al Michaels. Union City, California. Oh, come on, baby. There you go. Just when Belmo thought he had a little momentum, up steps Pete Weber. When 89, it's over. What a performance by Pete Weber. And Earl Anthony makes some room. Pete Weber has joined the greatest ever atop the list of PBA major victories with 10. PDW continues to amaze. There's the spare ball. <laughs> Tracy loving it. <laughs>